Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Today, we are taking a look at a set of Battle Pass costumes. We have the K2 pilot costumes, and just like in season one, there was a costume that had three separate tops. This is sort of the same thing. So we have the K2 pilot front, middle, and rear. And basically this could work as if you have like a squad of some sort. You could have one be the back, one be the front, or the other way around, and a couple of them be the middle to make it look like it's a big train. Obviously it's just me for today's episode, so we'll start with the front, then I'll showcase the middle, then I'll showcase the back. And you guys will get the idea of the costume throughout all that. That should be pretty fun. It seems like a pretty fun little um, Battle Pass costume. I like the concept of these a lot, so I definitely think it's worth showcasing them. And while we're doing all that, we do have some different events going on, mostly focusing on getting hit by experience exploding projectiles in any round. So I think that clearly has to do with the blast ball trials over here. So let's get started with that. We'll warm up a little bit with some blast ball and hopefully it goes well. Okay, so it's pretty basic here. We're just playing blast ball and trying to survive to the end. And we actually have to get hit by the explosions to get this quest progressed. And we have some kind of times two battle pass points thing going on now. I don't know if it's like, a, it's not a double experience weekend because I'm recording this on a Thursday. Okay, well, we're gonna get launched by this one. Um, like I said, I wanna run into the explosions for now. As long as it doesn't knock me off the side entirely, that's gonna help me a lot with that. But like I was saying before, um, well, that one didn't get me? Okay, if you say so. Here we go. No, come on, blast me, blast me. Uh, but yeah, there's some kind of times two event going on right now, so I'm definitely just trying to earn up whatever battle pass points we can manage. But also have fun showcasing these current battle pass costumes. Anyways, we might want to blast some other players too, so I could just, you know, toss it over. And this is a lot of players for Blast Ball. So, you know, players getting launched everywhere. And we don't have to make it to the very end and win this one. We just gotta out-survive 10 people. Um, we've already done that pretty decently, but never mind. That's it. <laughs> okay, well, either way, win or lose with this event, we'll play a good couple rounds of it, and we'll still make progress. So that was already five out of 20 by getting hit by exploding projectiles. So we're one-fourth of the way there. So there's times two, so I think it'll, will it jump up anymore? No, I think that was times two already. So pretty good stuff. We just go again and hope for even more. Okay, back to more blast ball then. I'll grab this really quickly and we'll just launch it somewhere. I, I don't know if that really did too much for me. So we got hit by five explosions last round. Let's see, this right here, that'll be six in total now. We'll just sort of <laughs> try to keep track a little bit. That one didn't get me, I guess. Ooh, you know, let's not be too hasty with it because while we do want to get hit by the explosions, what we don't want is to get disqualified again. I want to make it as far as we can manage, but that's a couple of them, a good chain of them. I'll grab some though and try to throw stuff into the mix. That's always fun. If it'll let me, everybody's snagging my stuff here. But, uh, okay, stay away from the falling platforms. How about that? And there we go. We qualified much easier this time. This one was a little bit crazy, but we survived. We get that golden medal too, which is always nice. And we're good. So let's try round two. Okay, round two for Blast Ball. Hoping it goes better than, you know, every other round so far so we can just keep moving forward. This time seven people need to be eliminated with a lot less players around. That does, you know, make it more complicated. I'll just get myself launched. Sure, why not? If it counts, it counts, right? Okay. Well, let's grab this one. Of course, this is where I do want to play a little bit more seriously. Trying to knock off some other players or something, but. It just sort of goes how it goes. That's for sure. But as we're rushing through this, whoa! <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts on this first piece of this costume, the K2 peel up front. Um, I like the concept for these a lot, like I said before. And I like the design of this one too, just how it has like the arms in the front. It's supposed to, maybe it's Pilla, K2 Pilla, like Caterpillar? Or Caterpillar? <laughs> I don't know. Cause that's what it sort of looks like. I don't know what the name is supposed to be pronounced or what it's exactly referencing, but whoa, we're getting launched pretty high with that one. Three people have been eliminated though. Here come maybe some more. I'll pick this up. I feel like I can't grab a single one of these without somebody getting in my way. There we go. And that launches absolutely nobody. Okay, I'll grab this. No, you don't, no, you don't. Just throw it over there, I guess. I'm a little nervous right now. Don't let it be me. Only one more person. There we go. We're on the round three. It is pretty quick fire so far, but you know what? Sometimes it's for the best. Okay, so. I think we have 13 players left in this one. I think that probably means next round is the last round, depending on how many players. Yeah, okay, no, this is the last round. We need to out-survive 12 other players. I'll go for this then. So we won't mess around with actually uh, getting blasted too much. I'm just going to focus on this. This player's not here, so I might just try pushing them off. 
I feel so mean doing that, but like that's the name of the game and they're not here. I feel so awful doing that, but like we gotta. All right, all right, so. Let's see what we can do here. I do see some players over here, and I don't think they'll notice my blast ball. Unfortunately, hitting them in the wrong direction, but they went right through. No, 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 jump! Ooh, ooh, that was close. So I think I've eliminated two people so far, which is pretty cool, because those are the only two people who've been eliminated. Why did I do this? <laughs> I was trying to grab it. Oh, no, oh man. I'm gonna launch all over the place at the moment. Maybe now's the time just to run around. I'll toss him over, go a little crazy with it, but I'm not too concerned with what hits who. I'm just trying to focus on not getting exploded myself. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, well, that was silly. <laughs> Never mind, we don't make it too much farther. I was looking over there and I just wasn't looking where I'm stepping. That's okay. But as you can see, it is still something. We get a silver medal in one of the rounds and I just need to get blasted three more times. So let's go for one more. Ooh, and we get times two there. So it's something and 80 kudos too. So. Let's go for it one more time. Even if I get disqualified in this first round, it doesn't matter as long as we can just get three more blasts. So one last blast ball, explosive round for us. Hopefully, we'll see. I really don't even mind if I get disqualified as long as I get these three explosions. There's one, there's maybe two. Does it count if I'm already in the air from the other one? We'll get hit by a lot of them just to be sure of it. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> We're stacking them up. This is pretty big. All right, and are we going for another one here? Ah, not quite. I'm just gonna go full risk with it. Just as many times as I can get blasted as possible would be great. Come on, come on. And we do get golden medals for, you know, surviving these rounds. So for that one other quest that we have, it's pretty good. It's gonna get launched over this way. That was pretty nice. Already four people have been eliminated. Okay, that one's not gonna go where I wanted it to. I just wanted to sort of roll it over. Oh gosh, whoa. Seven out of nine people taken out already. Oh no, oh no. And there we go, so we, we still made it either way. I definitely think we got the one challenge done either, you know, either way, whether we qualified or not. Let's go to round two. Okay, more blast ball. This is, no matter what, this will definitely be our last blast ball show because these do get old a little bit quick. You know, once you get used to the idea, I didn't want today to be a full blast ball episode or anything crazy like that. Um, Okay, you know what, not worth getting pushed off for, so let's not grab that one. But uh, yeah, not gonna be a blast ball centered episode. I just wanted to get these missions out of the way while we have the times two event going on. So let's maybe try to grab some of this stuff, okay. Well, that's gonna launch quite a few of them, but also I get double launched. That was actually pretty cool. Oh no, whoa, why does this keep happening to me? I don't know, but we're getting some major air from it. So I think I'm just gonna roll this over there and I think it might cause some problems or not. Somebody bumped into it. Okay, there you get that one. Two people already taken down. I wanna get to the final round again, if possible. Oh, oh, that was scary. Oh, can I grab it? No, <laughs> okay, scary, scary. Three people been taken down. Seems like we're doing well just hanging out here. I'll just, yeah, we'll just chill out then. He's having a good time with this guy. Oh no, 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 ah, 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 okay, wait a minute, throw it, throw it, throw it. They're just going crazy on us, but we survive again, awesome. So the final round, right? If it's like last time, yep, we have one last round to survive here. I think we can do better than last time, right? I think I learned from my mistakes. Look ahead to where I'm stepping. Oh my, ooh, but I am gonna launch from every direction. That is just something where you really, there's a lot of factors here you just cannot control. So just trying to be aware of our surroundings and make moves based on that is the most important thing. I don't think I'll worry about throwing too many blast balls this round though. One person already eliminated. It, it does take its time, right? But we should be able to get you know a good couple thousand more battle pass points from this one, getting us ever so closer to level 100. But that's what we've been doing last episode, this episode, and, and a couple more upcoming episodes. We've been showcasing these Battle Pass costumes that we get with all these points. And I will not rest until I have them all. Or at least I'll try. Ooh, that was almost a really good one. They didn't quite fall off. I'll grab this one. Don't grab onto me. Okay, never mind. I didn't think they would do that. That was mean. Okay, whatever. It's all right. Maybe I should be thankful because I'm saved from playing any more boss ball for today. That's 16,400 battle pass points and it will be so much more here in a moment. We'll get two more gold medals up to 34,000. That's gonna be the cotton candy color for this level. 
And then level 70 gets the cotton candy faceplate. That doesn't look like cotton candy to me, candy to me but okay. Uh, Robot Wrangler costume bottom. Level 72 will get us 400 kudos. At level 73, we're not quite there, but we're really close to it. Hopefully we can get to more of it later in today's episode. But now is a great time to switch over to the other part of this costume. So we have the front on for right now, but if we go all the way back over, there should be the centerpiece right here. So we'll equip this one instead. This one goes in the middle and as you can see, has like a little screen on the side, a little gauge and some levers and stuff like that. Looks pretty cool. So instead of doing what we were doing before, because I've definitely had my fill on that, we need to win a show. We need to place, play race rounds in any show. Both of those would much better be done I think in solo. So that's what we'll focus on for right now. Just a solo show. Let's get started. So our first solo show in a little while. We didn't do any last episode. It's our first one of today's episode. I'm definitely ready for it. We have Hit Parade to start things off. Okay, let's get going then. So we need to be top 29 for this. And as we've seen before, it is faster to jump down like that than to stay up above. Yep, none of the players who stayed up above have quite reached there just yet, so we're just gonna try to jump through this. And this is, oh, if the other players weren't bumping into me, this would be much easier than the doors, but I don't know now. <laughs> Maybe it's not as much. Usually with the doors, there's huge traffic jams that get everybody caught up. Either way, a little unfortunate just how that played out for me. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Please let me just get through. It's something, it's something. There's a lot of players ahead of us. I actually don't know if we'll qualify at this rate. We're really gonna have to try to get lucky here because other players are pouring in quite a lot. Come on, pretty smooth moves through that, but only, oh, only a few more spots, only a few more. Can I do it, can I do it? Oh, 29th out of 29 places. That is as close as it gets, that was intense, but I'm glad we had a really good cleanup. At the end, we did it, <laughs> on to round two. Penguin pool party, oh no. I don't know if I've ever played this one solo before in squad shows, right? No, no, I think I've played it solo before. I'm gonna get mixed up. Um, anyways, we just gotta rush through and try to grab one of these many penguins. But a round two penguin party is actually feeling, feels pretty uncommon. Okay, there's one. Can we just snag it from them and just get running? I would hope so, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh, this one. No, 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 get out of the way. I don't want any of you guys, I want the penguin. I almost grabbed it. Get out of the way. It's getting launched, but to where? Right here, it's mine, it's mine. Oh, I know it's not a lot of points, but this is already pretty good. And then I get it again, and I jump up this way. Come on, come on, and then I plop back down. Oh, they were waiting for me. They were waiting for me, turn this way. Some of them might get distracted by the other one, I would hope. Luckily, with the camera angle I'm at, it looks like I was able to be the first one to grab, but this person is chasing after me pretty quick though, which, you know, stinks. Whoa, that makes me drop it? Oh no, I wasn't expecting that. Um. That really stinks. I was not expecting it would make me drop it. That was gonna be like my evasive maneuver. Oh, there's one. There's one just plopping down in front of me. Come on, I gotta be able to get it. Gotta be able to get it. Come on. Come on, I'm almost there. There's so many of them running around. I already have just five more points I need to get. Come on, please, please. These penguins are so frustrating sometimes. I got it, I got it, I got it. Come on, 22. Oh, no, no, no. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> Come on, that's so uncool. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. We might not get it. Ah, oh, that is so frustrating. We had it, I didn't think that hitting that would make me drop it, but it does. So that ruined it for me, but I guess I know now. Ah, oh, still not a fan of Penguin Party. We're gonna leave that be though and go for another one soon, but I at least get one more point there with closing in on something, but we gotta keep trying those solo shows. There's gotta be something better for us waiting. So another solo show attempt, starting with Night Fever. This one shouldn't be too bad to survive. The big windmills are a bit different. Usually we have the uh, swinging like spike logs. Okay, we're all the way in the back though. And then after this show, I think we'll attempt another run with the final piece of this costume, the, the rear part of it. That should be good. Right now we're just trying to keep up with everybody. Got it. Oh no, 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 okay, that was not good. Got knocked off from that one. We'll try this one in the center. Cause I need to be top 30. Last time we cut it really close and we're 29 out of 29. Will that happen again? Jeez, I feel like I've never been knocked off of these before. And then the last few times I've tried this mini game, it's been happening all the time, all of a sudden. I've never really struggled with this before then, but now it's been such an issue. There are a lot of players in front of us. Oh, these are moving quick. These are moving real quick somehow. 
just slid in between a lot of them. Some players already qualifying, so we really have to move through this. Okay, I know about this one. Just gonna move past it. 14 people have qualified, so I think we can make it here. You're just gonna try for this one. Oh, you, oh wow, okay, that was really fortunate. That never fully lowers. That was a very difficult version of that, of Night Fever. That was crazy, but luckily we made it through. That's at least a bit better, and it is another race round, so that's what I'm trying to get through with those for that one challenge. Okay, let's try for this one then. Got a race to the finish on Slime Climb, and <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> he just walked straight off the side. Okay, um, let's just try to keep up the competition. If we don't get a first place here, it's not the end of the world, but if we can just make it past round two, unlike last show, that'd keep me happy. All right, we're going up here, if I can manage. Ooh, a little awkward, a little awkward. Out of the way, please. Oh no, this is not looking so good. I need to sort of divert away from the crowd right now because that's making a huge issue for me. Wait for this one to go out and then I'll retract. We can start catching up again. The only thing about falling behind at this that I get really nervous about is that at the end, there's always somebody trying to play goalie and knock somebody off. Okay, come on, come on. I'm going to attempt to jump up here, thank you. We should be good. So, I'm gonna get straight through like this. Oh no. And there's this one launcher here that's just proven to get in our way. Come on, got it. Oh, this one? They don't, yeah, I feel like recently on Slime Clown, these ones haven't been really moving too much. I'm not gonna use the hammer to get over, this is way too risky, but this fan's a bit scary. I should be fine as long as I'm running like this. There we go, and boom, we qualify. That's all that matters. Pretty cool, and I think, is that everybody? No, there's still a lot more people working their way through. Okay, Hyperdrive Heroes is up next. We gotta get top 20 for this one. Actually, no, we don't. We just have to, there's only 20 players, so any number of those can qualify. So hopefully we can do this then. This doesn't count as a race round, unfortunately. Neither does the slime climb, so that doesn't help too much for a challenge, but either way, we'll just deal with it. Jump on these things, yeah, that definitely helps. Back out ahead again. Whoa, okay, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna launch for another moment. Okay, we're up here. Just gotta make sure I'm not getting pushed off by anybody or anything. Come on, come on. Ooh, go, go, go. We made it, we made it. Now we can jump and dive. I don't. I didn't even need to dive, that's great. Just gonna try to get over here as much as I can. And then I think I can get to these tiles before anybody else. So that's great. Why did they do that? I have no clue. They were trying to cut me off, I think. So you know, that balanced out pretty well. All right then, so. We're just waiting, spinning around, having a good time. I love how the arms are like extra long in this costume too. They almost, they nearly drag on the floor. <laughs> That's just a very funny look. So there's just a lot of little things about this costume that I really enjoy. Cause the other one was sort of like a, a dragon like you'd see in a parade. I, I think that's a good sort of description of their parade type combo costumes. We got it. We're gonna jump over one more and then we should just be good at the tip of it. Yep, we're fine, we're fine. So six players have already been knocked out of the game. Oh no, ooh, that was scary. One more player falls off right there, so. We gotta be very careful as the risk keeps raising. Oh no, gotta be careful, this guy. He's not being very nice to me. Ah! Go, go, go. Got it, got it. Okay, so we're, we're closer to the lead now. Which doesn't matter a huge ton, but as long as we can make it to the next spot. So what we really wanna do here is wait for the hoverboard to pop up, jump onto it, and then just jump onto those tiles as soon as we can manage. So do something like this, and then dive for it. There we go, perfect. And now I'm running. I might even be able to get first place here. Even though it doesn't really matter, we get a gold medal either way. Boom, I got it, first place finish. Ooh, Pipe Dream is up next. I think we can qualify from this one, and it's nice to see another race round. If we can win this show, that's also another big thing to focus on. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. When we're in the front too, that's nice. And let's get going. Oh man, these things 
Uh, very dangerous, very dangerous. Somehow, oh, okay, I still got knocked over. I was a little silly, but I didn't get knocked over by those ones, so we're good. I'm going to dive like this, and these fans can always be a big problem, but I think if we don't get pushed by any players there, I should be able to dive in between those and keep ahead. Okay, off we go. Ooh, and we got uh, little drums. Okay, that was sort of silly. Okay, yeah, it's hard to reach the next one from that, but we did it. Oh, we can only be top seven here, so the competition is a bit rough. I haven't ended up on this side too many times before, so uh, trying to do what I can about it. Some player's getting ahead of me. Oh, but I'm catching back up to him. Okay, I think there's only one player ahead of me then. Looks like it. So I will do what I can. No, whoa, ooh, that was close. That was really, really close. These are gonna swap in a moment. So we're just gonna do that and then maybe grab this on the, oh, really? Okay, that was silly. That was really silly. I thought that I could have gotten that. So try this again. I, I can't wait for it there and then. We just gotta jump for it now. But the, oh, you know what? We're going for the pipe. I should have done this sooner because I might end up still not making it. We do just barely. I should have gone for the pipe sooner. I don't know, with the uh, the treadmills on the bottom, it really threw me off, so. <laughs> Almost didn't work out, but we found a way through. Okay, so it looks like we got the, the jump finale here. Haven't had this one in a little bit. This one's always exciting, but intense. We have six other players here that we need to out jump, out survive. Don't grab me. I didn't do anything to you. Oh boy. Oh, and this one is already getting ready to go. So we're gonna be split up here a little bit. Maybe it'd be safer to be on this side. Maybe it wouldn't be. I have no clue. Only one way to find out really. Now I'm not feeling it as much. I gotta be honest. Uh, Maybe I should have taken my chance to go while I had it, but I could do this and then jump again. Oh, now I'm with the crowd again. So I think that was, yeah, for the better, because look at the cow. Oh, geez. So this platforms, they're, they're going, getting less in numbers. They're dwindling. Okay, now it's that one. I think we'll stay on the side with the majority, but at this point, it's pretty divisive. Because once it gets down to like one panel wide, that's when things get really stressful. We are all <laughs> deciding for this one. It's about to get real crowded real quick. Come on, I just gotta hope I don't get grabbed on. There we go. And then we're going to jump and dive. Pretty cool. And then, ooh, ooh, somebody gets knocked off. Luckily not me. Oh no, oh no, you know what? Right here, perfect. Don't you dare, oh my goodness. It's like you can see it coming, and I try to jump extra times, I try to grab back onto them, but it just feels so overpowered in the way that there's nothing really you can do about it, but, and it looks like they might end up winning here. Okay, ooh, they do. So good moves by them, they were able to get the win. But more than that, we're just gonna skip out of this so that we can, um, what's it called? get our rewards here. Unfortunately, still not able to get a win, but we are able to play more race rounds to get 7,000 battle pass points there, which should jump up to 14,000 in total, but even maybe more here, 16,000 in total that gets us to level 73, getting us 100 show bucks, and level 74 gets us the top part of the robot wrangler costume. So another costume to showcase in the future, level 75 almost, we're less than 100 points away. So let's go for one more show, this time with the final combination of this costume, which if we go, all the way back over there should be the rear part of it. So we've done the middle, we've done the front. Let's do the K2 pillar rear, which has a little tail at the end, has some more gauges on the side, a big lever. Looks pretty good. So it looks, you know, fairly similar to everything else, but I think we'll make this work quite well. So we'll go with that and I'll just do one more solo show. Win or lose, no matter how far we get, it'll just be all focused on this last solo show. Okay, so we got Freezy Peak as our first round. Freezy Peak as a first round is actually pretty weird. I feel like you don't see that too often. Either way, we're just gonna, ah! Hope not to get launched too far. Oh, I was able to dive from that. Usually you can't dive when you get knocked really high up like that from like a large projectile. That time it worked, so I don't mind. Oh, and we got the super jump spot. So I wanna jump to this one. This one, maybe, if it would let me. Okay, cool. I don't know why I didn't get enough height out of that one. Usually that, is my jump button broken? <laughs> What's going on here? It's fine, it's fine. Oh no, that's not fine. This is falling apart really quickly. I would like to get past at least one round with this costume. That'd be nice. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Uh, 
Just wait here. Play it safe. Play it safe. Don't go too crazy with anything. And then we dive up there. That's good enough. We just need to be top 24. I think that maybe we have a smaller lobby of players and that's why we're getting what is typically a second or third round show on the first round and only 24 can qualify from it. Is we probably just don't have a ton of players to begin with. Can I get past that in time? I can. All right, three people have already gotten through. I think it's a little bit futile to try to get to that spot. I'll go to this one. Oh, come on. Got it. Lots of rushing over, but, oh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Boom, like 22nd, 23rd place. Really close to the end there. Oh, wow, block party. This is a bit of an uncommon one. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's because I just haven't been playing too many solo shows recently that it feels a bit uncommon, but either way, we'll survive through this one, I think. Most of the time we do, no problem, but if somebody grabs me at the wrong time, you never know. I can send a spiraling down, so we'll just try to survive. Okay, so we have a minute and 40 seconds of just avoiding blocks, enjoying the little party we have going on up here, maybe taunting around a little bit. I don't have any quests regarding on any of that, but still we can enjoy it. But we've been just well on our way to showcasing more costumes here. You know, I think I've already asked you guys about, you know, your thoughts on this one, this whole setup. I think it's always cool, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on if you've gotten it, you know, you think it was worth it, all that kind of stuff. I'm definitely determined to just, you know, make more progress in the battle pass. I hope we can get to the end of it before it ends. Uh, but I'll just keep chipping away at it and try to, you know, post episodes as often as I can. But it has been a very positive battle pass so far. I've definitely enjoyed it. Just being able to check out all these cool space themed costumes and all the licensed um, costumes that are in this too. I think next episode we're showcasing Spock from Star Trek, which is so cool that, you know, Spock from Star Trek is in Fall Guys now, you know? So really cool stuff like that. But for right now, we're just trying to survive through this. But the original costumes, like the one we're showcasing in today's episode, the one we showcased last episode, the alien operator, they've all been really good as well. So I think it's a very solid uh, battle pass, a very solid season so far. And hopefully that kind of stuff continues. I can't wait to see what they're doing for season three. I haven't really had too many crazy guesses for what the theming could be. I feel like, you know, if they could, if they're do doing space, I feel like the next like, oh gosh, obvious one would probably be like a Wild West theme or something like that, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna keep jumping over this stuff. We're almost there, five more seconds. This is the last one. We did it. Good job, guys. Don't, no, be careful. No, I think they got eliminated. Oh, you gotta be careful doing that. Oh boy. Ooh, we got Stomping Ground up next. This one has claimed my runs many times before. Will it happen this time? Can we avoid the angry rhinos long enough to make it to the next round? We have to survive for a minute. Recently, I've been doing it in squad shows, so there's less pressure on actually surviving to the end and more so just surviving to accumulate enough points to actually be able to qualify. But for this one, we need to survive to the very end. We need to make the most out of that timer. So let's see if we can't do exactly just that. Uh, 50 seconds remaining now. This rhino is really on top of us. Sometimes all three of them will just decide to defeat one person in particular. I've definitely been on the receiving end of that. And that's never fun. Ooh, ooh, like this, this is not good. Okay, okay, come on, keep dodging. They're bumping into each other now too. I wonder if it would be nice if one of them could knock the other one, you know, just go against each other, knock each other off the platforms for once, you know? See how you like it, oh no. Oh no, come on, ah, oh, that sinks. I did what I could, but I think we will wrap it up there. It's been a pretty um, jam-packed episode. No win for us, unfortunately. I've been trying so, so hard to, you know, get like a good win. By the way, we get the floppy disk nameplate there. Um, and we're working our way to level 76. So some really great stuff in today's episode and in the last episode, earning tons and tons of battle pass points. But that's where we'll be ending it for now for this run. Next episode, we'll be showcasing another battle pass costume. This one, of course, is going to be, like I said before, Spock from Star Trek. So that'll be really exciting. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.